right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very... Ready. You ready to fight? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just misses with the straight right. Pretty good jab there by Short. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Big kick lands. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, lands a punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Back to the jab now, no good. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Right hand punching the clinch. Grabbing the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, big punch lands. Swing 
in a big miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Got the single collar tie. Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Good jab. Stuffs the takedown there, how good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, tags him with the left, that is an educated left hand. Educated left hand, he's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Beautiful straight punch there by Choi. Alright, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though. They were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Around. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. And he landed the right hand there. Kick lands. Lands with the right hand. Throws the right hand there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. So how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Watch knees to the body. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Nice, low single takedown. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, single collar tie now. He missed with that jab attempt there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. 
Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Straight right hand, no good. Nice strike. Try to establish that jab. appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. And he's back to his feet, good sign for him there. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Beautiful kick. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Nice leg kick land. And that's the end of round number two. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. And relax. Watch him look to finish this right now. Put the pressure on this guy. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the This is what happened. It's very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Pretty good right hand. What a punch. Back and forth we go here. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Head kick lands. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. That if you take one of them, they can end the night that one landed right on the spot. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was lightning fast, that right in. Beautiful leg kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land.
effective strike there by Choi. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just misses there with the left. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Punch is blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands the right hand. Big kick. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees as the elbows come now. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, man, head kick lands. And once again, looking for that hot... work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Ten seconds to go. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come down. Just misses with a left hook there. Joy's uppercut, but that one is blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. 
Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Ooh, big shot land. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Fantastic timing on that move. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. That punch no good. Right hand on point. What a body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, beautiful jab there by Short. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. That's a big strike right there. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Nice kick. Less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. Oh, big left. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges potential. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judge's mind. You walk back to your corner. When you get up in a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right, right. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Nicely done. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Real sneak by oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. He blocked the punch. Just misses with the right. Nice. Look at him working at 
trying to shut the liver down. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge